Okay, got the Cummins turned upside down. I'm going to uh, pull off the pan and see if there is any shavings, metal shavings around the bottom or anything like that. Double check the, uh, the condition of the lower end. Hopefully, if there is no metal shavings, as long as there's no metal shavings, I'm going to call, I'm going to basically just say that Cross my fingers and just hope that the lower end and the pistons are okay. The cylinder's checked out within specs, so that's good. Um, the uh, And then just basically put it back together. Uh, redo the heads with new valve springs and uh, certain components up there are new studs. I'm going to go with studs instead of bolts. And then try to run this thing with as little money put into it as possible just so I can get the rest of the truck done first and as long as the engine will last me until the rest of the truck is done then I'll rip the engine out and I'll drop 20 thirty thousand into it so the idea is to get this part done uh, and running so at least that way I got a Cummins in it uh, pushing me along Now you want to see how, what condition the bottom end is in. It's a what? You want to see what condition the bottom end is in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a, well I do have one, I just can't find it. There's obviously an oil leak. So it's gonna get all new gas, it's new rear main fill. Now since it's going this far, I'm not at least replacing easy seals. I ah, see that one was loose. That one, that one wasn't so bad.
No matter what, I'm still getting a load leash for this thing. And a pack uh, exhaust brake. Drain the oil out of this thing. <laughs> oh, there's no, no metal shavings. But there is that. That is not encouraging at all. No, that is not encouraging at all. This, this came out of it. Shit. And it is definitely broken. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I'm putting more money into it than I hope.